Hello, welcome back to the Tuesday show where we continue to talk about Evolution 2017. We talk about the results. Let's talk about the reveals. Yep, so a lot of cool reveals going on there. As we mentioned, I, did you even get to spend time, for example, with Final Fantasy Dissidia or Fighting EX Layer or whatever all those games are? Yeah. Did not even okay. spend any time okay. at all. Uh, uh, yeah, su unfortunately. Su Sunday was the day that had all the crazy reveals. I was surprised there was no Injustice reveal. Like they didn't show Black Mantis or or like Raiden or anything like that, right? Sub Zero was banned from the tournament because he was too brand new, right? Yeah, he just came yeah, out yeah, that okay, week. Yeah. Okay. Starfire reveal tomorrow. <clears throat> oh, is that what they're doing tomorrow? Mm -hmm. There's oh, live sweet. live stream tomorrow. They're okay. talking to talk about Starfire, okay. but that wasn't at Evo. Mm -hmm. What came first? Uh, so on in the morning they showed right after Marvel vs. Capcom three they showed footage. And according to Champ, and you know, no one's going to believe him because he's Champ, right? Okay. They had the characters picked out for him already, and so he couldn't see the character select screen when he did the exhibition in the morning. Ah, uh, the morning Marvel Infinite. Just after Chun-Li won Evo Marvel right. 3, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Combo Fiend and F Champ came up onto the stage to play an exhibition of Marvel mm -hmm. Infinite. And they already had the characters picked, so he didn't see the character select screen. Yeah. And then... Two games into it, when it was 1-1, Combo Fiend goes to character select, and voila, is Jedi. And so Champ had a reaction, and everyone's like, like he didn't see it earlier when he was picking... I mean, that's what Champ said, so, you know... Uh, yeah, I mean, it's not at all unbelievable to me right, that they exactly. would just trick him like uh -huh, that. I mean, uh -huh. And that's the other thing, too, is, like, you're having fun with this, and people don't realize this. Yeah, sitting at home, you're going to watch and be like, oh, sick, Jedi's there. If you're on that stage, you have different emotions. Sure. You know what I mean? Even if you're playing an exhibition. So when you're playing that and you see Jedi like that, that he busts out Jedi on mm -hmm. you like that, you're going to get pretty excited about it. If I was sitting in there, I would have been like, holy crap, you know? Right, like, oh, yeah. Sure. You know, like, Jedi, oh, my God. And uh, he looked pretty sick. He dude, his animations crazy. were great. Dude, he doesn't really even look legit like he, good animations. He I doesn't would say. look like he was animated by the same team that animated Chun Li. I'll I'm say that totally much. with you. He looks so much better. Oh my god! Who is Jetta? Jetta is the so. That's a good question because it's been a long time yeah. since he was in a video game. Vampire, aka Darkstalkers, is a series in which all the bad guys are based off of movie monsters and standard movie monsters done with the Darkstalkers twist, like mm -hmm. Anakin. And Acarus is a mummy, and he's about as far from a mummy as you could be while being a mummy, right? You know, Dimitri is is the vampire, whatever like that. Got the Frankenstein's monster with command grab with his butt. Yes. Jedha is the Grim Reaper of the Darkstalkers world. He has sickles that he fights you with, but the coolest thing about it is the way that he fights you, he is this big, giant, purple dude with these wings and blades, and the way he fights you is by injuring himself and trying to attack you with blood, basically. So he like cuts himself. Standing medium kick. So like I said, his wings have blades on him. He actually takes his hand on his wings and slices him and sprays blood at you. His guard reversal is a special animation where he chops off his head with his thumb and the blood that sprays out of his neck attacks you. He throws sickles at one of his supers. He cuts his wrist and blood pours out of it, races across the floor, turns into a giant hand, grabs you, slams you on the ground, smears you in the blood, and a contract comes up, and he sl slams you into the contract, then he takes your soul. That's quite a game <laughs> to be, like, in the 90s, you know? That's... Yeah, Jedi is a sick-ass character. Yeah. Like, he is probably one of the coolest characters. Definitely. Ever. So he showed up now in Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Like you said, he looked really good. His animations were really good, I thought. Yeah, it was really interesting to me because he did a lot more things where he would turn himself into a sickle and attack. He didn't really do that as much except for like in one move in Dark Stalkers where when you did quarter circle back plus kick in the air, he would go <laughs> and then dive down and like Izuna drop you basically. Oh, so, yeah. But if you hit kick or punch while you were in the middle of that, he would come down as a blade. But now he just jumps in the air and turns into a blade and spins. And it looked like he tried the blood contract super on Champ, but Champ escaped it. So I think he just missed that. Well, interesting to note that his blood was purple. I mean, he's purple. Oh, oh you didn't notice? No, didn't yeah, all of his blood that. is purple. Maybe for getting around ESRB ratings? Yeah, Disney stuff, right? Disney? So, yeah. Definitely. But in any case, that's cool. And, and I mean, you know, we couldn't really see it there, but I would love to see 
I guess it probably exists. I'd like to see a high res of that stream mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and like slow it down and see if he's still like cutting himself. And, yeah, like, cool yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you a know, good probably point. Is. That's a good point. But he looked really good. He definitely looked a lot more polished than a lot of the other characters did. Like it's yes. hard to see that him and Chun Li are the same game right now. I'm with so. you. I'm with you. Yeah. But uh, he looked pretty sick. I'm excited about that. So, and yes, there were some more Marvel reveals uh, at Comic Con, but we'll talk about that in a little bit because that's that'll be in the SGC news. We're just talking about. I may not know about the that. evil reveals, right? Oh, you you might not have missed that, huh? Okay, it's nothing that we. I don't think anybody was really surprised about, but. Oh, I did. I did see one thing. I don't know what the okay. rest is though. In any case, yeah, I thought that was cool, and it was fun. It was a fun match. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, you know, F Champs not. No, I assume he's not playing the game like that, but right. I don't know. In any case, it was it was fun to hear people talking about Marvel Infinite. I didn't get to play it at Evo, but I mm -hmm. talked with quite a few people who were spending a lot of time with it, and they all had crazy traps they were coming up with, and they were just talking about how they were constantly switching, switching, mm -hmm. just like constantly everything they were switching. It sounds cool. Okay, cool. And it's really interesting too because I noticed a distinct difference between everybody who was at the venue. And everybody who was watching the stream. Okay. Everybody watching the stream said it looked terrible, Jetta looked stupid, and really? it looked boring. And then everybody that was at the venue was like, oh my god, he looks so sick. And da, hmm. da, da. I guess I should see like a high res stream of it. Because, I mean, it was on the, whatever the transmission well, is called, I, I, like, I in the think, big center. I don't think that has anything to do with yeah, it. I probably, just think it's just be. when you're in that evil right. high, you know what I mean? It's like, it's Very just, possible. it's so cool there. Just like that guy said, when you're there at the event, it's such a different energy. Yeah. The, there's so much positivity at those events as opposed to when you're at home and you can just criticize every little thing, right? It's true. Which I'm not saying either viewpoint is more legit because. Well, look, I mean, when I'm watching E3 reveals, I am definitely on Twitter trying to be as jerky as I possibly can. <laughs> right, exactly. So I, get it. Mm -hmm, I totally mm -hmm, understand. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. So. But, um, uh, but then. The next couple of reveals were like, boom. Unexpected. Because uh, they were going to announce, they showed something for Blaze Blue. Right, after Blaze Blue. Um, they're like, here's the announcement. And I was sitting there and I was like, because remember I asked uh, James Shed the week before, I was like, have they announced any new characters for Blaze Blue? Is there any like sign that there's a continuation? There's a new character coming out. And I looked at that and I was like, the only character that they could reveal for this game that would generate the hype that it needs to have would be Jubei. Because I know if people have been wanting that character forever, and they said they didn't want to put Jubei in the game because he's supposed to be basically the most powerful character ever. But it looks like they did it. And sure enough, Jubei, uh, basically the master swordsman cat character. Cat from samurai. Same, from the same clan that Taokaka is from. And also... Nine's husband? Yes, Nine's husband. Yeah, it's like a Who Framed Roger no. Rabbit kind of thing going on there, I think. But uh, I don't yeah. know, in that world, maybe that's totally fine. <laughs> but, man, people went nuts for that character. People were super hyped yeah, for him. Yeah, people in the audience were going pretty nuts, that's for I sure. I mean, I know people who had, like, like Jubei, little plushies and stuff like that. People love that character. And he's only showed up in, like, stories and, you yeah. know, in the stories and the modes and stuff like that, so... There you go. Uh, Jubei was announced, but then Arxis wasn't even done yet. Yeah, I thought that was it. Yeah, there, everyone was like, woo! And he's like, wait a minute. We're going to show you some new Trunks footage from Dragon Ball Z. And they showed some Trunks footage from Dragon Ball Z, and it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. Wasn't that after was it Tekken? After? Oh, that might have been after Tekken. You're right. Cause, you know, yeah, because it's ba Bandai Namco. They're right? publishing yeah, it. Yeah, you're right. You're Arxis right. You're right. Is, okay. Uh, developing it. In any case, just talk yeah, about it. But look, then the next game came. So Arxis was in like, okay, we're going to announce one more game. And Blaze Blue character showed up, and then it was like time for the ultimate like crossover and i was like huh and then persona 4 characters jumped in the mm -hmm. game and i was like holy crap they're doing a blaze blue persona crossover mm -hmm. that's pretty cool pretty cool and then it's like one of those tv offers yeah uh but well, wait no, yeah. there's more yeah. then the unio characters jumped under in night. there under night characters jumped in there and it was like what yep what and then they basically played through the whole trailer and it looked like it was gonna end now i have no association with the, the last franchise here but they actually announced a fourth franchise and there were rumors about a ruby fighting game coming up 
and people weren't sure about it. Like, right. were they going to make this? Or not? And then sure enough, Ruby shows up in there all of a sudden out of nowhere. Now, after doing some of the research, Ruby is a, uh, an, so an animated series that was exclusively on YouTube created by the late Monty Ohm, I think that's how you pronounce his name, O-U-M, who used to basically make all the 3D, like, crazy fight videos where he would, like, have the dead or alive fight, like, the, the Final Fantasy, like, ten girls and stuff like that. He would do a lot of those crazy videos, so he had his own series called Ruby on there. And sure enough, Ruby is a fourth franchise that is being added to this entire colossal conglomeration of characters. So, Yeah. Yeah. Pretty, pretty crazy of people setting the volumes a little low. Let me turn it up here, so... What? Yeah, I mean, I, it was... I mean, there's not a lot of information about the game, uh, but... Or, you know, which characters in particular will be there. Presumably, it's not every Undernight character, every Persona 4 character, mm -hmm. you know, etc. Mm -hmm. That seems unlikely to me, but... You know, probably going to be some of the more popular ones, and I'm really looking forward to that, because some of those characters are... I mean, oh... Each one of those games has really crazy characters. Mm -hmm, that's mm -hmm, what mm -hmm. a lot of people like about it. When I played them, I, that's what I liked about it. Yeah, I'm just wondering, because it's called the, Blaze Blue Cross Tag Event or something like that. And it's going to be a 2v2 game. So it's two characters yeah, versus right, two characters. Right. It's just like, how, how does the team work exactly? Right, and, and, and because it's called Blaze Blue specifically, I think it's probably going to be mostly Blaze Blue system mechanics. You know, that's my that's my thought. So I think a lot of the characters are going to play Blaze Blue style. It might be, every character might just be ABC and a drive button, you know, kind of right. situation. So. Right. But, I mean, the Whoa, game, that sounds cool. Yeah, I'm excited about it. Can't I just, wait. I really hope that it's it's the kind of game that, uh, you know, has assists and, and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah, just like yeah, one after the uh, other. Uh, so you want, do you want your Tager Waldstein team? No, I want Tager plus... New or Hilda oh, that plus. That sounds so annoying. <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Oh my god. Or like Hilda plus New, and you're just like, there's just crap everywhere right, on the right. screen. You yeah, know, all, the, like all those games have four buttons, obviously, but like Persona was attack, attack, and then Persona, Persona. Yeah. So I don't know how they're going to rectify that. Are the Persona characters going to still attack with Persona? You know, it's going to be really yeah, we'll weird. See. So it's going to be really interesting. Would be crazy if they actually just try to integrate all the systems in there. So like, if you're a union mm -hmm. character, your four buttons are different than if you're oh, a man. character, you know, and stuff just like that. Just make it fighting jam. Yeah. God, now that now it sounds like a terrible. Idea. Now it sounds terrible. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, some of those characters are so crazy that that giving them an assist, I don't know. Balance sounds tough to me, but mm -hmm, mm -hmm, we'll see. Mm -hmm. And, uh, by the way, oh, I will save this for fighting game news in any case. But that was a cool announcement. Yeah, definitely. And then there was the Trunks announcement for Dragon Ball, oh, yes. right? So Trunks. they actually showed Trunks footage, and again, neither of us are Dragon Well, I'm not a Dragon Ball person, right? I'm not so a Dragon Ball like, person. I know who he is. Yeah, see, I, oh. like, I know you made the joke a long time ago that everyone looks the same, you know, there's just different shirts or whatever like that. I'm still kind of in that section because I really just Dude. don't know the difference between all the yellow-haired, spiky-haired guys. I hear you. I just know that one of them is really short, <laughs> you know, and th th that's about it. And apparently one of them has a sword now. So, but, I mean, Neil's to say, everyone went hype for that. Everyone went crazy. And then they announced the new guest character for Tekken. And I was sitting in the audience... And I'm just like, who could this guest character possibly be? Yeah. Because there was no room, there's no hints about it. They did a great job. And shout out to Harada trolling Ono. Did you see his most recent tweet? Mm -mm. There was a picture of like Harada holding a piece of paper, and Mark Man's like, Photoshop this to the best you can. So someone photoshopped Ono on it, and uh, like Harada pointing at like, Ono is going to be the next character in the game, or something like that. Oh no, Harada actually tweeted <coughs> that. He was like, Yes, Ono is going to be the new character in the game. And then Ono comes back. He's like, so what kind of deal is it? You know, like, how much percentage of the cut am uh -huh. I going to get? And blah, blah, blah. And then Harada retweeted back. He's like, storyline. Ono discovers that all the leaks are coming from the Mishima temple. And so he's like going to like, I was just like, yo, Harada is going in, That's dude. Hilarious. I was like, that was amazing, dude. Yeah, um, Geese, I, I but, hadn't heard of him being leaked. Right. Oh, did some in people say case. Geese was leaked? I don't think it was. Because the funniest heard. thing is, I'm sitting there watching it, and he was like, Mishima, and you see him like look up, yeah. and you hear the, 
Dude, as soon as that happened, as soon as that laugh, it was the first noise Geese made. It was like, whoa. Someone sitting in front of us like popped out of his chair and was like, it's Geese, it's Geese. I was like, what the hell? Like, How? And then all I was thinking in my mind is there's no way this is Geese. That doesn't make any sense. And then the little Japanese doors came up, like the CVS one intro. And I was like, what the hell? How did you know? <laughs> You know, but apparently Hell Pockets did the same thing in somewhere else in the in the stadium. I guess he was hinted at, folks are saying. I don't remember hearing about that at all, but Oh okay. really? Okay, okay. But yeah, oh, dude. he did say that he wanted geese in the game, Harada did. Uh, but you know, you yeah, never take that. He too also seriously. trolled because he was like, I'm having a meeting with Arxis right now. You know, but dude Maybe that's not trolling, James. Maybe there's gonna be soul bad yeah, guy. I know. But dude, I will tell you right now. I've never played KOF. I'm only just getting into Tekken. Yeah. I got so hyped. I was hyped. Everybody was was hyped, man. So hyped. Everybody was standing up. Everybody there was nobody sitting down. He looked Everybody was standing up cheering. So good. Yeah. He, and did you see the picture of Rip and Tasty Steve during the announcement? Oh I can see them down there though. Steve is like when he's literally eating his hand and Rip is just like this the whole entire time. And Steve actually commented on that picture. He was like, I don't even remember eating my hand. Yo, he was yeah. like, I don't even remember that I happening. That. No, I, you, I, you could see them, the commentators, they were down in the center right next to the stage. They were just sitting in chairs in the front row. Uh-huh, and from, uh-huh. where I, from where I was sitting, I could see them going nuts. But I could see everybody going nuts. Everybody right, was jumping dude. around. Everybody oh, was on their feet. Everybody God. was yelling. It was super hype. Pandemonium I mean, at its best, like, basically. Yeah. Everybody was yelling predictable when he did the counters. Everybody was doing dude, it. When he did it to and the it was all at the same time. Like no like dude, I, I, who, I don't who, think anybody heard like that guy said predictable. I should do it for the next one. Everybody the first time was like predictable. Right, uh uh-huh, uh-huh. Like everybody was like in unison. It was great. Dude, was and great. then finally the, whoever edited that trailer together did such a great job because it was seriously like he was countering, 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 and you're you. Everyone's wondering, can he counter rage arts? Yeah. Then at the very end, you see some guy activate the rage art, and it was boom, predictable, boom, yep. predictable, boom, predictable, boom. I was just like, oh my god, you are ridiculous. But yeah, there's the picture right there. So. Oh yeah, if you don't know the character Geese very well, when he does counters, that's what he says. Yeah. Predictable. Predictable. Let's see, here we go. I'm just gonna zoom in on their faces here. Whoops, why does that go so high up? Look at this. Look at these faces here. Look at these guys here. This was everybody though. Again, it wasn't just I these know, two. Right? Well, maybe not that lady in the back on the left there. Maybe she I don't know what her deal is. <laughs> but everybody else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, lady okay, you know what? Alright, get out of here. Yeah. We're, 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 yeah, she's kinda of ruining this picture here. Yeah. Let's Rip is okay. definitely okay. gonna make that an emote. Oh yeah, he has to. For oh sure. god. That would be too perfect. There you go. This is this is this is the uh, this is the excitement levels of people here. Oh, look at these guys. Well, where at where I was standing up in the cheap seats, everybody was standing. Oh yeah, dude. Oh, I don't know about God. these people who bought the extra fancy floor tickets and whatever they got going on, but from where I was, everybody was going nuts. Yeah, and that was so ridiculous when they announced that. I was just like, what? And uh, that just made me think, like, who the hell else are they going to announce? And I love the fact that they're bringing in the bad guys. Mm, I didn't think about that. It's not like, hey, let's bring in Akira from Virtua Fighter. Let's bring in, you know, like, they put in Akuma and they put in Geese. That's a good point. So all I'm thinking now is, like, like, let's put in Shang Tsung and he'll actually turn into the other Tekken characters or something. Like, it'd be so weird. What if Shang Tsung was, like, their Mokojin? That, that he would actually, actually be Shang Tsung, and then you do a code, and he goes, and he doesn't actually transform. He just like, and all of a sudden he fights like Jack, or like he'll turn longer, and then he fights like Jack. That would be or awesome. That would actually be kind of sick. That would be really but I'm good. setting us up. I'm setting us up, dude. I'm setting us up. So because if I asked, like, who would you want to see it? And I selfishly said I would love to see them put a 3D Kyoko in the game, you know, because I just want to see a Tekken rendered Kyoko from Rival Schools. Yeah, Kyoko. Everybody's favorite character. Dude. It's Kyoko it's my from one, Rival School. My one true fighting game waifu. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, man. But, yeah. A lot of people are saying, like, Arc System Works. Like, who Arc System Works, who would you put in from there? 
like would you put in Azrael or would you just put in mm. Soul bad guy or what you know because Soul kind of is a bad guy yeah but you know yeah. I, I don't know I don't know Slayer would be really cool he, they would do such a good job with Slayer. They would do such a good job. He would look so and cool. And he fights with his hands. He'd be perfect right. for it. Right. Oh, 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 God, people are getting me too hype about this now. Dude, someone said Ganondorf. That would actually be funny, That too. would be so cool. Ganondorf, yeah. They've done Nintendo characters before, right? Didn't they do, like, Zelda and stuff? Link was, was in that? one of the games. Link was, was in one, uh, Soul, Calibur. Soul Calibur. Yeah, yeah, Link oh, was in Soul Calibur, so. yeah. But. So pause. There's precedence. Dude, they can't put Johnny in the game. He has a freaking sword that reaches halfway across the screen. There's no way you'd be able to put him in the game that would make him work. It would be tough. But hey, yeah. Geese has double Rapugan. <laughs> double Rapugan! God. Dude. Oh, man. Anyways. Uh, Anyways. Dang. I was told I would. Because they have announced that there's two more guest characters. Now we know one of them is Geese. Okay. And so uh, I was told I probably wouldn't be able to guess the second one. You would not. Yeah, hmm. but we'll see. We'll see. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, they oh they put a Samurai Showdown two character in there. That would be. But there's no way. There's no way. It would have to be a uh, big grappler hands guy. His name oh I don't oh remember. oh uh, um, Seeger. Is that what it is? The guy with like rock for hands or whatever it is. Well, Seeger's the one with the giant gun arm. No, no, no. The uh, uh, earthquake is another grappler guy. Uh, uh, what's his name? Um, Wan Fu, the guy who pounds his head into a pillar. I don't remember. Carves I guess. himself. Okay. Am I thinking of Last Blade right now? What are you talking about? What, what I'm talking about Samurai Showdown. I was only thinking about Last Blade too. My oh, bad. were you? Oh, okay, okay. My okay. bad. Okay. okay. Yep. Nicotine, Shingen. caffeine. That's totally what I was thinking about. Caffeine. Which one were you thinking of? Shingen. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. okay. Definitely okay. what I was thinking about. Okay. Anyway, that was all very cool. And, and then, everybody was super hyped. And then they revealed before Street Fighter V started. Right, so ju- we had just seen Geese uh-huh. and then Smash Wii U Trunks. happened. Right, uh-huh. Right. And then... And then fast forward through... Multiple five dollar wines, mm-hmm. and then for before Street Fighter Five, Ono came out and said, "Enjoy this new trailer." Abigail had kind of been already rumored to be the next character. There's a lot of leaks and all these other there problems. Were rumors, yep. But uh, sure enough, right when it started, it showed like the final fight music, background mm-hmm. stuff. That was and, cool. Yeah, and then uh, sure enough, Abigail. Abigail. And wow, like people said that he is supposed to be the tallest character. And he's listed as eight feet tall. They delivered on that. Oh, he's definitely he twelve makes feet Sangief tall. Sangief look tiny. He's definitely twelve feet tall. He's not eight. He... So they went overboard on that, but that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. It. Now that I've seen him again, I think he looks cool. We'll talk about, it, I guess, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Initial uh, reveal was not the same response as with. The previous yeah, reveals was, in you know, the stadium. I don't know how it was at home. Right. Uh huh. It, it was, was like, what? Like, th- I heard that. I don't know how many times. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Just like confusion, you know? Oh yeah. Uh, and and like a I think kind of like. The mm. funny thing is, like the initial reaction that you see him and without it seeing quiet all the there. everything else was that he just looked stiff. Especially because this is the move that sticks out the most, and it's like the most basic move. But then obviously the winner stays on, had the sessions, and they were able to capture a lot more stuff. You can see a lot more of the personalities, like his post moves where he's like dancing and stuff Oh, he like looks that. great now. But in, but in that initial reveal, he, uh, he looked dumb. Yeah. Yep, he did. And yeah, it was not, not an exciting like reveal. And yeah, a lot of people didn't know what game he was from in the first place. Right. Uh, Who is this character? Right. Why is he here? What? Right. You know, again, I heard that a lot. Uh, and in, in seeing him play there, like, you couldn't, you know, from that initial trailer, you can't really see how he plays. Mm-hmm. Okay, he has a command grab. I see him grab, he turns yellow. It's EX commander. Mm-hmm. I get it. 
he has a this thing, okay, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and he's what does his trigger do? And, and he had a throw where he just did this. He just goes, why? Why? Right. Why just this? Uh -huh. What is that about? Uh, and then his super was cool. Uh, his super did get a reaction. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh -huh, super uh -huh, uh -huh. He puts him up and he does a little. Right, 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 right. That actually was funny, and everybody laughed. Right. A lot of people. But see, that's the thing everybody. that I was worried about is I felt like they were going too much in that humor direction. Like, They're definitely in, silly, in humor. In that silly character, you know, where like you're not supposed to take them seriously kind of thing. And that always kind of bothers me when they go too far down that direction. Yeah. But, um, oh, yeah. yeah. It definitely is like that. But, so, yeah, that was the initial thoughts. And then, whatever, Street Fighter Five happened and so forth. And the rest was cool. It's just that that initial reveal was not the same degree as everybody right. Like, else's. Like, honestly, if you were going to do the trailer properly, you should have had more Final Fight in there. You should have showed the final fight throw where he did this and then show mm, him do that. That would have made a lot of sense. You know, then show him do the running, t -t 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 boom, hit him, and then show, you know what I mean? Kind of like show it a little bit of the where the moves are coming from and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, and like a lot of the stuff you know, on, on watching it again, the trailer, I thought it was like funny or it seems maybe useful or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like when he first showed up on the screen, he thinks he's a car or whatever. So he's like driving around and he goes, yeah. Ah. When that first moment happened in the stadium, we were all so much like, what? That, like, <laughs> that humorous moment right, was totally yeah, lost yeah. on uh -huh, at least uh -huh. me. Right. I did not even notice that until later yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went back and, I, and that, that's pretty funny. And again, that's not, that's not on the editors or anything like that, but it's just the character choice and the timing mm, and the reveal. The and I, I really do feel like that they probably could have did more with the reveals. There just should have been more reveal for Capcom at that time. You're going to be the last game. You're the biggest game. I just didn't feel like... They got showing up, man. Yeah. I mean, I mean you, look, you got Trunks and Geese. You, you got a brand new crossover, Blaze Blue. You know it's what? Like, we even on. forgot to mention that Fighting EX Layer had some yeah, announcements. Yeah, right. Daru yeah. Mister was there. Dude, Skullomania. So Skullomania? I, I mentioned I was there with my best friends, right? Yeah. So these are the two best friends that we cracked out on EX that one time, and all we did was beat the computer so we could all watch all the stupid endings. And one of my best friends, his favorite character of like all time is Skullomania. And so there was even this game called Fighter Maker that came out one time mm -hmm. where you could like try to make your own fighting game, and Skullomania was in there as a guest character. And my friend bought that just because Skullomania was in there. And so when they announced Skullomania, dude, like, my friend was, like, through the roof. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was pretty cool. <laughs> and, yeah, Darun humping everybody was cool. Yeah. Skull Spider! Skull Hitter! Yeah, yeah like, whatever. The, the best about thing that. about it is that I feel like they use the exact same voices and the exact <laughs> same <laughs> animation. <laughs> Indurai Bashi! Yeah. You know, I mean, it was pretty it amazing, dude. It yeah. pretty amazing. So that was hype. Again, everything else was hype. So, Abigail. Having seen him later, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and if mm -hmm. you guys haven't seen it, on Winter Stays On and on Capcom Fighters, they had a session with uh, with Abigail, with uh, the street writer yeah, from yeah, Capcom, yeah. Uh, uh. was there sort of going through the character. He looked so much better, I thought. <laughs> like, his, his animations were so... Yeah, I mean, things that you could see in the, in the trailer... Just because they didn't show them. Yeah, his neutral animation yeah, is hilarious. Uh -huh, uh -huh. His backdash animation is hilarious. Even just a lot of his normals are like animated well. His, right. The fierce, where he kind of goes like this. I think it looks nice. Yeah, so I think his animations look good. Coming out of there, my memory from Eva was that he was really stiff looking. Agreed. And then as soon as I saw... Shout out. Look, if you want to see a lot of stuff about him, go check out High Fight. Uh, H-I-F-I-G-H-T-H. Uh, on Twitter, he yeah. has all this stuff, and he clipped out a bunch of like after all of his special moves. He does the, you know how like when Q parries, he dusts himself off, and you don't have to let him dust himself off. Right. You can move. Or there's the interruptible animations, but apparently everything that he does has that. So he'll like punch someone, and he's just like getting, you know, like he does, like his, like it was weird how much my memory had turned him into this big stiff thing that was just rotating on his waist. Yep. All of a sudden, to like this character looks sick, it's like fluidly animated, <laughs> yeah, uh -huh, and a uh -huh. lot of personality in it, and his moves look useful, right? Which is cool for a huge character. I mean, it's on the editors, dude. Like, I don't know what else to say. I feel like if you if you see this and you don't put that in the trailer, <laughs> what are you doing? Right, right, right. Yeah. How, I mean, that's the coolest thing. That's like the coolest backdash. It's something that. No other backdash has. You just do a backdash. Right. Uh -huh, it's like, uh -huh. what are you doing this thing? Yeah. I mean, uh -huh. you had to have put that in the trailer, I feel. Yeah. 
So I thought that was a bummer. The trailer could have been better. The character, I think, looks really cool. Yeah, you did see that, that Storm Kubo has already changed his name to Abigail Kubo. I did, right? I did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, right, so I have also seen that... I don't know if he's actually trying to correct the announcer on the pronunciation of his name. Because, like, Abigail. He's like, Abigail! You're like, I don't know if that... that I think it just had turned out to sound that way. Yeah. I think that's funny. A lot of his moves say Abigail. Yeah, right? uh, uh. His hair is a maple leaf, right. Oh, he's from Canada. That's right. Oh, right, right. Oh, so yeah. there's a lot of cool things that you don't notice the first time you see right. later. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I really feel like that's just not a good trailer. Mm-hmm. So that's unfortunate because the, there could have been hype in the audience. Like if, if in the audience we had seen the finger guns backdash and the cool looking animations, it would have been a different response mm-hmm. for sure, mm-hmm. for sure. Uh, and right, so he has been changed, I guess. Or it was a glitch or whatever, but in the initial trailer, he is super hulked up. Yeah, he's in V-Trigger mode. Even though he's not red. Like, he's right. just uh-huh, hulked. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And I don't know if that means that he was glitched to always be that way at the time, or if it was, like, a design decision to, like, later on change right. the character so, so he has the... Made into old it was an early build. Like yeah, I don't know. But in yeah. any case, yeah, in the, in the initial trailer, you see him and he's super hulked up, and he's doing elbow day. Like, his elbow has got yeah, muscles uh-huh, on it, right? It's uh-huh, weird. Uh-huh. And then you see it later, and it doesn't look like that. Right, right, it's only right. when he's in trigger, which is fine. Like he's right uh, uh, now. He's uh, specifically bulked up. I right. get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I understand. Uh, you know? uh, 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 Again, you just the trailer was a was. Hmm, yeah, it just uh, very and missed then, opportunity. And you know what the worst feel. thing about it was too. Even F word kind of joked about it after Street Fighter Five was done. He's like, I'm not leaving because there's going to be another reveal. And like he's filming this. And then the You're All Free Now video comes up and you hear him go, what? Come on, man. <laughs> like, you can hear him actually like, because, dude, all, I think a lot of us were sitting there being like, is this going to, is, 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 there's got to be another reveal. There's got to be one more reveal. And there just wasn't. There wasn't. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I know, like I mentioned today at Comic-Con, uh, they announced some new characters in Marvel. They confirmed Gamora. Right? Well, she Which was all in, knew was in there already, she was right? Evil. Right. Thing. And then, uh, but they showed Hagger, Frank West, Spider-Man, and uh, who mm-hmm. was the last one? I can't remember now. I only saw Hagger. Okay, okay. I definitely saw Hagger, Spider-Man. I saw, I mean, there was like some footage that got leaked out of the announcement mm-hmm. that, that someone recorded, you know, with, with Nemesis. Hangout. Nemesis, that's what it was. It was Nemesis. Wow, yeah. they kept the big guy, huh? Yeah, but again, you know, the, the tough part about that is that's four characters who were in the previous game. And so a yeah. lot of people are mad about that, right? Because they're just like, yeah, they think that the, the, they're saying the roster's really bad because it's all just rehashed characters. And I totally get that. Sure. You know, I totally get that. It's really unfortunate. I totally get it. So, I think it's to be expected mm-hmm. that it would be mostly repeat characters, but yeah, it's still unfortunate, for yeah. sure. For sure. Hmm. So now I'm excited for Abigail, having seen more of him. Mm-hmm. I feel like he is the kind of character that I would want to play with big normals, Look like they can whiff punish well, and that you know has command run and command grab and some trickiness about him, and he's a goofball. So those are all things that I like. Did you see the the footage that looks like that he might not be able to beat Fung? No, because he can't get underneath Q. He's standing up. He gets like he can't walk underneath Q at all. Like Nish Q when he throws the fireballs, like the fierce ones way up in the air, they actually hmm. hit him. <laughs> Weird. Like at the arc of it. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if there will be Nishku comp. Well, it's like minus on hits. So right. Maybe not. I mean, apparently he has moves where he can roll through and roll under and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, his down so. roundhouse is a yeah, yeah, yeah. So that might I mean, they're not going to make him a gimped, terrible character. They're yeah, gonna, yeah, yeah. You know, they're going to do their best. Mm-hmm. Uh, what is going on here? Let's see. Why is this like. Right, yeah. I mean, the, re- the reveals before Abigail were definitely crazy and awesome. Mm-hmm. And it would have been hard, difficult to meet the bar set by them. Mm-hmm. But even still, like like I said, I really feel like the trailer could have been significantly oh. better. Significantly better. So. Yeah. I mean, to be honest with you, I really think they should have just released all three of the characters. Just been like, here's the next three coming characters. This one's coming next. Here's the next. Who's who, who the next two are. I don't think there's any point because, like, uh, I was saying to other people, like, Last year, the, the six characters got leaked right away. We knew who they were, Alex, Balrog, Yuri, and all those guys. And when they revealed the, 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 the character trailers for them, everyone was still hyped. 
It wasn't like we already knew Yuri and was coming. That's true. We already knew Ibuki was coming. Remember yeah. when Buki was revealed and then she did the the Naruto thing and like Tasty Steve and Seijam sure. lost it. Everybody, when yeah. Yuri stepped out and Li Joe was throwing yeah. on the rings, like I I just don't think that you know, like I said, just tell us who the characters are. Like if we had known it was Abigail, still seeing the character from Final Fight. Mm-hmm, does not mm-hmm. prepare you for how they did in the right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. It would still be a surprise. Mm-hmm. And if the new characters are indeed like Rose's training partner or whatever the thing, not, I don't know. Yeah, uh, uh, and then there's something Jitsu else. Was and like then it was Zeku, uh, guys, guys, master. guys master or something. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. If those are the characters, the fact that we know who they are doesn't mean we have any idea like what they right, look like exactly. in SF five. How they play. And then we don't have to play this game of like, oh, look at these silhouettes. Who are they? Who are they? I just, I don't think that that's productive and necessarily so. Well, it's a bummer. It's just another one of these opportunities that could go very differently. Mm-hmm. Really could go very differently. And right. I, you know, it just never seems to. Right. I really, I'm looking forward really, to playing Abigail next week. I really, really hope, though, if one of these days, if Capcom ever fix the two-player rematch thing, that they do a trailer of nothing but thumbs up, and then they can just say, no more, and then just have a trailer with that. That would be very funny. I think that would be amazing. It would be great. Trailer. I think that would be an awesome trailer. It's definitely not happening. It would be great. <laughs> it would be great. <laughs> but he is coming out next week. Yeah, next Abigail, week, though. So, he's going to be yeah. soon. So, and, and actually... Seeing that he's a character that I can hit people from way further away than they can hit me kind of makes me a little excited about him. Just to be able to have this interesting footsie kind of character. Yeah, yeah. He might even be kind of zony against some characters. You know? I'm excited for him. Like if you're Cammy and you're trying to walk up and stand meet him, kick you, and you're like, boom. You know what I mean? Like Yeah, and his buttons look fast enough to be able to do that kind right, of stuff. We'll uh, see how it ultimately is in the final build. But, right, yeah. exactly. So, yeah. I'm, I'm kind yeah, of man. All right, so. all right, all right, all right. Cool, All right. cool, cool. Um, I guess I don't really Brilliant. have much else to say uh, about that. I know, uh, let's, uh, was there any other reveal or anything like that that you wanted to talk I about? I don't think we're missing anything. Uh, they announced two more Dragon Ball characters recently, which were going to be Krillin and... Right. Piccolo? Piccolo. <laughs> yes, Krillin and Piccolo. And, uh, so they Krillin, the said, world's strongest human. World strong as human, which means he's like pretty low on the totem pole on the DBZ. Chilling, <laughs> chilling like a villain is Krillin. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, um, yes. So those two characters were announced. So uh, a lot of people are very hyped for that. And in fact, they. Oh yeah, that's right. We should also say that they did show the Final Fantasy Dissidia trailer. Everybody who bought a ticket to Evo is going to get an email with a closed beta code for Final Fantasy Dissidia. So everybody at Evo is going to get a Final Fantasy Dissidia code. Ooh, I missed that. Yeah, they announced that at one point in time. So, and then also the beta for Dragon Ball is coming out, and all nine characters who have been announced will be in that beta as well. Have you even had a chance to play it yet at all? Played two games of it at E3. Okay, okay. It's really interesting. There's no Mm. throws. Right. So they have these unblockable charges instead that if they hit each other, they tech. Right. Right? And then, um, sure enough, a lot of the combos can just be like A, 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 B, B, C, C. You know, yeah. it's very it's very chainy kind of game. So it's going to be really interesting to see how this goes. Because that might be so great for... If, it, if, it ha- if they can do what I always said, that you make the barrier of entry really low, but then you still leave the ceiling mm-hmm. really high. Like... I, that could bring in so many people. And, and there is definitely, I hit one button and I started throwing fireballs across the yeah, street. Yeah, yeah. There is definitely. Individual normals have all sorts of stuff. Yeah, that game definitely makes you feel like a badass. Yes, like, agreed. For sure, for sure. So I'm super hype about this game. I think it has a lot of potential to be a very huge entry into the, F, into the fighting game community. Agreed.